Well, regular nightmares in childhood could be an early warning sign of future psychotic disorders. This is according to a research team at Warwick University in England, which has said while most children do have nightmares, it's persistent ones that could be a sign of something more serious. It was Professor Dieter Volker who led the research team. At 12 years, we interviewed them about nightmares, which are during rapid eye movement sleep, and night terrors, which the children are not so aware about, and looked at psychotic experiences. And just to explain what they are, they're like hallucinations, like having delusions, like being persecuted, or having delusions of grandiosity. And we found that there's a relationship of three and a half times increased risk at the same age. But we also had asked the mothers about nightmares. And what we found is that uh, had asked them six times from two to nine years of age. And the more persistent the nightmares have been, the higher the risk that by 12 years they had developed psychotic experiences. And many children, almost all children, have nightmares. But you just used the key word, I believe, in the entire study is persistent nightmares. So how do you define persistent? Yeah, I think it's very important not to give parents now nightmares about it because actually 70% of the children between two and nine years of age had at least for one year some regular nightmares. Persistent, we mean that they're regular at least over a six months period and that we had measured them more than th at three different time points between two and nine years of age. So these children had nightmares over years. And if a parent is worried about their child having nightmares, what should they do? Is there any advice that you can give them if they are concerned having read and studied your findings? So the first thing is that it is relatively normative uh, that nearly all children will experience nightmares. However, if they persist and they're frequent during the week, then it's important first to look at what you can do about sleep. They occur more frequently uh, if you're sleep deprived. They occur more frequently if you have made experiences that may be traumatic. This could be bullying at school, but it could also watch horror movies. So it's important not to have, for example, for young children, televisions or computer games in the bedroom where you can't control what they do before they go to sleep. There's more on the story on the BBC News website. Thank you very much for the moment anyway for your company. Bye-bye.